Donald Trump doesn't believe in climate change. Our military is depleted, and we're asking our generals and military leaders to worry about global warming. President Obama said the biggest threat to our country is global warming. That's cool. Give me a break, okay? Obama's talking about all of this with the global warming and the, that. And a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. He's called climate change a total hoax, mythical, stupid, a con job, bullshit. He's even suggested it's a Chinese invention to, quote, make U.S. manufacturing non-competitive. Which is why it's weird to find out he's blaming rising sea levels at his Irish golf course on climate change. You can't use hairspray because hairspray is going to affect the ozone. I'm trying to figure out, let's see, I'm in my room in New York City and I want to put a little spray so that I can... <laughs> Right? Donald Trump wants to build another wall, this time in Ireland. Rising sea levels are threatening his seaside golf resort in County Clare, so he wants to build a protective wall. According to Politico, Trump's zoning application for the wall names global warming as a reason. Wait, but I thought... It's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. Donald Trump doesn't just deny climate change. He's obsessed with denying climate change. And he has been for years. Here he is on March 21st, 2013. Here he is on March 22nd. He took a couple days off and oh, here he is on March 25th. It'll get cooler, it'll get warmer, it's called weather. I think it's a big scam. Trump doesn't seem to know the difference between weather and climate, though he claims to know a lot about other things. I know a lot about the wind. Wind is destroying a lot of problems. Wait, wind is destroying a lot of problems. So, wind is good? The planet experienced the hottest April on record. And in May, Trump asked Congressman Kevin Kramer, a climate change doubter and fracking advocate, to be his energy advisor. I said I'm skeptical of the, the, of the human being's contribution to Based global what? change. What? At least 70% of Americans think climate change is a problem. So for Trump, flip-flopping on such a serious issue just when it's convenient for business? That's a swing and a miss. This is your mic check.